Hello YouTube, I am back with the second part of the Flans Plane Odd Review. Today I'll be covering the guns and the naturally spawning pyramids and volcanoes over there. Basically, there are tons and tons of different guns, including nerf guns, shotguns, and whatnot. So, I've just got an inventory full, and, um, yeah. So, this is the MP40. It's, um, semi-automatic, I think, or, well, no, it doesn't really work very well. Unfortunately, some guns, um, don't work all the time. It's just, well, yeah, again, it's, like, Just luck. God, that's not right. Well, so let me start with the lugger. This is a small pistol. This never works. Ugh. Sorry about this, guys. Okay, let's see with my friendly. Not even my G3. Come on. Well. Oh well, I'll do other vehicles today and go back and cover this another time. Okay, so we've got all the vehicles. You've got. Let me just. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, these are all the vehicles. This is the extended list of the planes. I will just quickly show you how ridiculously big the Lancaster is. Yeah, it's massive. It can see two gunners, I think. Yeah, two gunners and a pilot. You can see this mod was designed for multiplayer. It's absolutely massive. And yeah, got a quick fly around, probably crash. Yeah, for this you definitely need to fly an F5 because otherwise you'll crash horribly. Honest, it's very fast, no cargo unfortunately. But yeah, if you look it's not very manoeuvrable but very fast indeed. Well, dive bomb. Oh, come on. Oh yes, my plane landed. Oh, half landed. Well, yeah. So, I'll get that back quickly. Okay, yeah. And I think, yeah, th these are either Russia. I think this, if you get these content packs, because the creator was a bit weird, he allowed content packs. He gave you the basic format and then allowed people to make content packs so I don't know which one this is but I've got two Russian planes to show you now um fuel I actually driven this plane before bombs so it's very much equivalent to Spitfire let's see how it flies probably gonna crash this oh no it's quite nice it's quite a nice plane Surprise! And landed. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, just let the plane stay there. And now we have a Russian, a failish Russian answer to um. Oh, what is this? Oh yeah, the Lancaster. It's quite messed up. It's like a derpy shape. But then again... Well, yeah. There you go, again. Four, four motors, two... Which allows two gunners and a pilot and a passenger. I think. Yeah, so I think this is one with cargo. So if I just head to the front of the plane. 
yeah, it's got tons of cargo. That just so yeah, I'll fuel it up and give it a shot. I don't think it'll be that good. Oh no, that's terrible. That's terrible. This is the worst thing I've ever flown. Oh come on! When did that happen? Yeah, going to think that this map would be good for zombie apocalypse. Just a word of warning. I don't know when this video will be uploaded, but I'm gonna start because, like, me and Jim thought it'd be a nice idea to like put state some of see what you thought about the opening ceremony. Um, don't know whether you lot saw it, but it was okay. It's quite weird. <laughs> So, yeah, we both kind of thought it was a waste of money, uh, they just made it quite terrible. The way they focused on the time, like, the era where we conquered, had a massive empire and, like, we weren't exactly top of anyone's Christmas card list. And this is, and the Olympics are watched by everyone, so, yeah. And then when they got missed, the only redeeming bit was when the Queen supposedly jumped out of a helicopter and Mr. Bean played Chariots of Fire. Even then, that was only two minutes worth of content. As you can see, I'm just driving a Willy's Jeep. It's pretty terrible. And now I've got it stuck. I... Well, yeah, it's quite like an all-terrain vehicle. Sports utility, but there you go. Uh, oh. Well, yeah, anyway, it's worth giving it a try. You can... Something that's quite good about this, and but makes the crafting like five times more complicated, is the fact that you can vary the engine sizes in both the cars and the planes. So you can like make it go really fast, really slow. But although the bigger the engine, the more expensive it is to make, because you have to dupe stuff. Not dupe, but you have to make two of this. You've also got cargo in both the cars, pretty much identical. As you can see, this is obviously using a slow engine. But yeah, you get the idea. They're both all-terrain vehicles. Um, four people can be in it at a time. One driver, um, one front passenger, and two rear. So yeah, I really think in one point doing they should get round to making this multiplayer. It's just got so many features that deserve to be played online. Right, let me just get some tank shells. If you saw, I'm going to be using some tanks here. Yeah, they're pretty, like, failish looking. They're just large blocks. But, they do fire some pretty impressive shells. So, you just get some shells if it's working for me. No, no, it's not working. What a shame. But you get the idea, you fire tank shells out and it's all very warlike. So they could like make a whole brand new game mode out of it. Although no not, I'll take about three updates to allow anyone to do make any new game type. Okay, now Looks like the guns are working, so I'll do a brief. You can have you can have guns that are placeable or ones that you hold. Like I'm just messing about with bazookas right now. Um my favourite my all time favourite is the mini Uzi. It's just amazing. It's like rapid fire, a little bit of kickback but not tons. If I get out Okay, this gun. It's placeable. You place it down, hopefully. If I don't lag out or glitch out. And there you go. That is your gun. Then you right click again. It will take some time to load. 
and then you'll see that box on the left side and that me that's your ammo box and you left click to fire now this is like a, a machine gun slash gatling gun so it's not very accurate like it's meant for and the only issue is if I just step away from it it's designed it only lets you place it one block above so you're standing on one like here you have to have the gun one block above you just for reasons not known to me because there's you it's not allowing me to place it on the same level as that I'm standing but if I no, it has to be one level above you, which is quite clever, really, because it then means there's none of this funny business about, you know, eating on the ground and then using smart move. Hang on, that'd be a good idea. I wonder whether this is compatible with smart moving for a minute. And I think, yeah, you've got tons of different guns. I'm not going to bother showing you them all because they take forever I'm just gonna do like my next my favorite gun <laughs> I'm just gonna give you a quick like sure I'm gonna show off my failure skills with the sten all right wait wait for some stuff to spawn Okay, well, there's a skeleton for a start. Charge! You can just, like, do... Have massive wars, get your friends along to play. But, because James has got something better to do. Okay, play on Halo. He He's probably not gonna... There are... Any videos that are released like this summer are gonna be me. I think James is not gonna do much filming. He's like next year and goes like me to secondary school and stuff. Um, it's quite fun this mod. Um, when it comes out of multiplayer, we shall I shall definitely be filming a battle. And that concludes our video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya.